Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. .com. In this video, we'll discuss read only partitions and subpartitions introduced in Oracle 12.2. Marking a partition or subpartition as read only allows us to protect its contents. In a previous video, we demonstrated read only tables, which were introduced in Oracle 11G. You might want to watch that video first. We create a partition table with created date as the partition key. The 2018 partition is marked as read only. This means no DML will be allowed against the partition. The read only column of the user tab partitions view displays the read only status of the partitions. Only the 2018 partition is marked as read only. We can alter the read only status of a partition using the alter table modify partition command. We make the 2017 partition read only and make the 2018 partition read write. We see those changes reflected in the user tab partitions view. We create a sub partition table. The table is list partitioned on the code column and subpartitioned by range on the created date column. The 2016 subpartitions are marked as read only. This means no DML will be allowed against these subpartitions. The read only column of the user tab subpartitions view displays the read only status of the subpartitions. Only the 2016 subpartitions are marked as read only. We can alter the read only status of a subpartition by using the alter table modify subpartition command. We make the 2016 subpartitions read write and make the 2017 subpartitions read only. We see those changes reflected in the user tab subpartitions view. We can use a combination of table, partition, and subpartition level read only settings. The linked article has some examples of doing that. So marking a partition or subpartition as read only allows us to protect its contents. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.